It's time for the Battle of the Titans. And I'm not talking about Godzilla vs King Kong. I'm talking about my diet vs my wife's tiramisu. And who will win this epic battle? Stay tuned to find out. Horns up and welcome to my unimpressive weight loss transformation. If you're new here, welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil, I'm a death metal musician and I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life. Speaking of which, watch till the end of this video to find out how you can win a copy of my book and to know who the winner of this week's giveaway is. Also smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Go on, you know you want to, smash that like button. So today being Sunday, there's a good chance we're ordering food for lunch and dinner. So it's going to be fairly high calorie. So no breakfast today, just having a huge bowl of watermelon. And then I'm going to work out. As usual, spending my Sunday cooking up a storm in my kitchen. I'm doing my healthy mac and cheese for my dinner and my chicken rice for lunch. So anyway, back to cooking. So folks, you can see I've got about 1000 grams of mac and cheese. That's 200 grams every day for five days. And that's how you do it. Cook a big batch of your food and divide the weight by number of days. And that's your portion. And that's how you meal prep. And my meal prep is done and ready. Chicken, broccoli, rice and there is my macaroni and cheese. So despite spending all day on my feet meal prepping, I have done my indoor walk and I'm just wrapping up and successfully burnt my 200 calories for the day. Woohoo! And now we've got some killer food coming for dinner. I just ate some Thai curry that I had so not a very heavy lunch as I expected but dinner is going to be good we've got some Haleem some biryani and Tipti has made tiramisu as well so I'll check in with you around dinner so dinner was really good we had some delicious Haleem and some mutton biryani but this is what I have been waiting for the tiramisu that Dipti my wife made and this is my favorite dessert in the whole world and we normally use uh, Nigella Lawson's recipe to make this and Dipti made the lady fingers for this recipe she made the baileys for this recipe yep she made baileys from scratch and she made the mascarpone cheese from scratch didn't I already say that no I didn't so basically this is like literally everything from scratch so I'm gonna taste it now mmm oh this this is out of this world. I'm gonna go and enjoy this now and I'll see you later. Nothing to see here, just another day of eating chicken broccoli rice for lunch. And this my friends is how you can have your cake and eat it too. If you want to lose weight and still eat things like desserts, make sure that you weigh out your portion so you know exactly how much you're eating. Damn that tiramisu looks so good. Looks even better in daylight now. Day one of this week is over and it's been a good day. I got my strength training done, I got my cardio done and in the evening I had a grilled ham and cheese sandwich for a snack which is also going to be my snack for the rest of the week. So I bought some pork ham and some chicken ham and I'm going to be having sandwiches as an evening snack every day. So I'm sorted on that front. And for dinner, I had my healthy mac and cheese, but I actually could not eat a full serving. So I actually had less of the macaroni and cheese, but I had the uh, meat and the vegetables as per the macros that I required. So that was good. And I finished it off with a bit of tiramisu. Oh yeah. I mean, 
how can it not be a good day when I had tiramisu after lunch and after dinner? So yeah, it's, it's been a great day. I am like, as you can see, a little wired up, <laughs> but I'm happy and I will check in with you later. Got this delicious beef rice bowl with a poached egg on top and a runny yolk, some miso soup and some pork stew. Oh yeah, that looks so good. So my friend Chef Sifa, who runs one of my favorite restaurants in Bombay called Sifa, sent me some food to taste test. So I'm like definitely not eating chicken broccoli rice for lunch. I'm going to have some of both the rice bowls and I might have to eat a little less tiramisu today because you know, the calories are going to add up. But yeah, I'm going to go and dig in and I'll see you later. It's day three of week two and things are going quite smoothly. I got my exercise done in today. I did my indoor walk. I did my weight training and I've noticed on the days that I do my walks and my weight training, which is Monday, Wednesday and well, hopefully this week I'll do Friday as well. I eat a very small breakfast like today. I just had some watermelon and banana. And that's pretty much what I've been eating like every day that I do my weight training, just some fruit after the weight training and then I go straight to lunch. And that definitely does help keep the calories down. So that's something I've noticed in my routine that is developing now. And that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I, I like the way this is going. So fingers crossed we stay on track. And yeah, also, I'm actually watching this video right now. Uh, it's by Dr. Mike Isretel of uh, Renaissance Periodization. I'll link this video below in the comments. It's a bit long. It's like 38 minutes, but it's a great video. It's called Getting Motivated to Lose Fat Through Dieting. And this really puts a lot of things into perspective. And I'm 100% sure that many of you would have never looked at uh, dieting and weight loss from the perspective that he is uh, describing. It's kind of all the reasons we actually get into dieting and how do we actually a very um, like how do you sustain your dieting? What are the sort of emotional factors that help you sustain weight loss and dieting? So I thought it's a very interesting video and definitely give it a watch if you have some time. Anyway, I'll check in with you later. I really need to fix this kitchen light. It's like a disco party light. I'm feeling a bit peckish, so I'm going to just look and see what's in the cupboard. And it's all these foods that are high in calories. Hmm. And I actually don't like any of this stuff. My dad eats all this. So I am going to have a banana. Hey guys, it's my mom's birthday today. So we've ordered some food from a restaurant. We've got some bows, we've got some fried rice, some chicken, a whole lot of good stuff. So I will not be eating my chicken broccoli rice today. And the whole family is here. Everyone is gathered to celebrate my mom's birthday, 69 years old. Oops, I might have to bleep, bleep that age out. Are you, do you care about your age? People knowing your age? I, I said you're 69 years old. 69. You don't care that other people know your age. No, why should I care? She loves it. She's young at heart. Anyway, we're going to go celebrate and see you later. So even when I eat restaurant food or takeout at home, I weigh out all the portions. That's how you stay on track, my friends. <laughs> It's Saturday night and we are going to be watching Godzilla vs Kong and I've got my healthy mac and cheese and Dipti what are you eating? Pizza. Pizza and she also got peri peri fries but I will not be tempted. I shall be strong and I'm going to go enjoy the movie now. Later. And 
just like that folks week two comes to an end and i weighed myself this morning and i was 70.9 kilos which means over the course of the week i only lost 100 grams so it's safe to say i didn't really lose any weight and at this point most people would be like oh my god my weight has not changed i've stalled but I'm not saying any of that. In fact, I feel great. I ate tiramisu during the week and I didn't put on any weight. Anyway, I did check my body fat on the body fat meter and it's relatively unchanged. But I did take my measurements again and there was a difference. I actually lost a whole inch on my chest and my waist and I gained half an inch on my biceps. <laughs> And I also took that topless video to see if there is any visual difference but I really can't tell. You have a look and let me know if you can see any difference from week 1 to week 2. I can't but hey, I can see it in the inches. And that's kind of what I want to sort of drive home today is that progress is not always on the weighing scale. Sometimes it's not even visual when you look at the before and after picture. but the tape measure i lost a whole inch on my waist and my chest which is a good sign it means i am making some progress and you know what frankly speaking even if i made no progress this week it would be okay because you know what i ate tiramisu my favorite dessert and i didn't gain any weight speaking of which this week i was not on point with my calories i will say that i pretty much ate to maintenance i didn't eat in a deficit and again that's okay you know i'm still making progress and the idea is not to starve myself this is normal for me i'm like i had a good week i ate some good food i didn't gain weight and i got all my exercise in as well i had a perfect exercise week i did my weight training three times and i did my walking on all seven days so i think it's been a good week and yeah and of course let me know about your week guys I know many of you are follow along follow follow I know many of you are following along with me and I'd love to know about your progress in the comments below if you are comfortable sharing it okay so let's talk about this week's menu now I'm going to be swapping out my favorite chicken broccoli rice for some Thai basil chicken for lunch this week and I just uploaded the video for this Thai basil chicken you can click here on the i button and watch it so I'm going to be eating the Thai basil chicken with some rice and some vegetables for lunch every day for dinner I'm going to be swapping out the healthy mac and cheese for a simple chicken sandwich I just prefer bread over pasta you know so a sandwich will be great for dinner and for a snack I'm going to have boiled eggs and I've also ordered some chicken liver so I'm going to make some liver pate because liver is really healthy and I just think it's something that is very nutritious and I want to incorporate that into my plan this week. So that is my meal plan for this week in a nutshell. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to announce the winner of this week's giveaway and the winner is Alex D. Congratulations Alex, you won yourself a copy of my book Keto Life. So just send me an email on headbangerskitchen at gmail.com so that I can send you your copy. And if you want to win a copy of this book, it's really easy. All you got to do is comment within 24 hours of me uploading a brand new video. And I upload videos on Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, 9 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And if you want to know what time it is in your country, just use Google. But comment within 24 hours and I will be picking winners at random. And you can comment on any video during the week. Monday's Keto Recipe, Wednesday's Non-Keto Recipe or Friday's Weight Loss Vlog. Comment on any of these videos within 24 hours and you'll be in the running to win Keto Life. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber from me. I will see you all on next week's episode of my unimpressive weight loss transformation. Until then, cheers and stay healthy.